How are you today? I'm good, very good. <laughs> Thanks. Just need a moment to gather my uh, gather myself there. <laughs> Thanks. So tell us about your film in your own words. So hope is definitely not a rom com. So don't switch it on if that's what you're looking for. Um, it is a thriller. It is an independent film that uh, was filmed all on location in Northern Ireland in some absolutely stunning spots. Um, but yeah, after the first 25, 30 minutes, it gets gruesome and uh, quite enthralling, I think, yeah. Tell us about your character. Um, so Hope is the name of my character. Um, she's the main protagonist and um, she pretty much is about the only person that features for the majority of the film. Um, she's very much an introvert. Um, she kind of gets her energy from being outdoors on her own. Um, she's adventurous, but sometimes to her own detriment as well. She has a nine to five job she hates um, and really she just wants to to get outside on her own and push her limits. Um, she, she's an excellent rock climber, swimmer, all, all of that. And she, she's a vlogger as well. Um, but she's better, she's better off when not actually around people, but in her own space. Um, she's a bit, yeah, she's crazy. <laughs> what do you like about her? Um, what I like about Hope, um, I like her ability to be by herself. Uh, I'm quite an extrovert person, so I get my energy from being with others, but she has this ability to get up in the morning and go and be on her own in a forest for hours, um, <laughs> or climbing or whatever it is she does. Um, so her ability to be on her own is something I admire. Um, her resilience, um, I think we see that in the film. You know, she's a very resilient character and I'd love to think that I would be as resilient as her um, in the circumstances she finds her, herself in. So what was your biggest challenge when taking on the role? Uh, uh, my biggest challenge, um, I'm going to say that there were quite a few. Um, for this particular film, uh, it was all filmed on location, uh, all outdoors in March, February. Very, very cold months in Ireland. Um, there was abseiling involved, cliff jumping, cave crawling, um, being swept around in the sea. Um, so if you combine that with also having to carry a truthful portrayal of a woman who was going through a harrowing ordeal, um, there was a lot of areas in it which were quite concerning uh, for me. Um, but it was very rewarding all the same. Um, but yeah, I think the challenge was having faith and trusting myself that I could give a truthful portrayal um, and also um, be able to be convincing and all these stunts and things that I had to do as there was no stunts person. I was the stunt lady as well. So um, yeah, it was very daunting. Um, and I did a lot of training in advance as well, uh, cold water training, um, rock climbing, just physically running and lifting weights and the whole lot, so. Nice. Yeah. What was your favorite scene to film? My favorite scene to film would probably be the cave scenes. Initially, I was terrified going into the caves because, uh, I don't know, I had in my head just dark, closed spaces. I'm, I'm not particularly good um, in like cramped environments, but when I got down there, I actually felt kind of energized. And there's something quite stunning about uh, being in the cave. And when we looked up, we could see all of the, um, the kind of the arches and the stalactites, stalagmites, one or the other. <laughs> when, you know, it was, it was really um, quite magical. And Hope kind of goes through uh, hallucinations uh, in the cave. So I kind of just got to lose my mind a bit. Um, and that was actually really kind of fun to do. Yeah. So that would probably be my, my favourite. Uh, what was your most difficult scene to film? All of them. <laughs> no. Um, the most difficult... I'd say actually, it's funny, the last scene for me that I had to film um, was Hope just after she has the break and she's uh, trying to get herself down from the cliff edge that she's on with this fracture. So I had to abseil uh, frontways 
off the side of the cliff. And this was actually the last scene of the entire film. And I kind of feel like I had this shield around me for um, some of the film. I don't know what it was, like maybe the fiction was protecting me, but because we were coming to an end, I think that shield started to dissolve and I, I, I realized what I was doing as I was lowering myself down and I just thought, can this be over now? Like, I think I was done. I think I just knew this is the end of it now and let me out. <laughs> um, so yeah, that'd probably be the worst or not the worst, but uh, most challenging maybe, yeah. Where was the film shot? Uh, the film was shot essentially all over kind of County Antrim um, and Northern Ireland and we were in some of the most beautiful places, um, Ballantoy, Ballycastle, um, around the area where, where Game of Thrones would have been filmed. Um, Fermanagh, we did, uh, Castle Wellen was the name of the place where we did the climbing in the, the quarry. And then we were in some beautiful caves in Fermanagh as well. And not to mention Rathlin Island, we actually stayed there overnight, got a boat there, um, which was just magical as well. So to do that and to film an act was, was really special. Um, yeah, it's gorgeous. And how was the experience overall? Overall, I would say the experience was very rewarding. Um, scary at times. Uh, and just like hope, I was pushed to my limits doing this film, you know. Um, I wouldn't change it for the world. Um, I absolutely, I loved it. Um, and yeah, I, I, I won't be doing it again. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's one I'll, I'll never forget. Can you describe the film using three words? Yes. It's intense, it's thought provoking, and I'd say moving as well, yeah. So where can we watch Hope? So Hope is available to watch um, on Amazon worldwide. Um, so you can buy it or rent it there. Um, and make sure to leave some reviews if you can. Um, let us know what you think, good or bad and hopefully for those that do watch it, they really enjoy it. Um, yeah, it was just a fantastic experience overall and the whole crew, I think not just myself, it is important to mention that everybody involved had to go through the cold and um, we all had to support each other. And um, Bobby and Matt, who um, th they wrote the film, um, it was based on a true story, essentially it had happened to Matt. Um, and they're really avid um, outdoorsy people anyway. Um, so they didn't just take a story and write it and say, okay, we just kind of want to do this. Uh, you know, they knew all about the safety of it. This was their passion. And in turn, they made a film from it. So I always felt safe um, doing it as well. So um, yeah, overall, it was just a fantastic experience with, uh, with everyone involved. Amazing. Great, action sorted. We did it.